after putting ourselves in the user's shoes, we're ready to create user flow diagrams. This fast way of sketching out the flow of your app was created by the team at Basecamp over 10 years ago. The notation we use looks like this. Each block represents an interaction. Above the bar is what the user sees and below the bar is what they do. The arrow indicates that they move to another page after performing the action. You can also use dotted lines to indicate alternate actions. Here's a simple example. If you're not sure where to start, a common pattern in real-time apps is to begin with a visual overview page and then drill down into more detail. Now go ahead and sketch out your app user flow on a whiteboard or a blank piece of paper. We highly recommend showing your user flow diagrams to your end users or even just to other members of your team. It's a great way to get feedback on your ideas early and to minimize rework once you've built the app.